There's got to be a better way to birth a baby. And if I can't find it, I'm not going to do this again. Those are the words that I said to my son's father as we left the hospital. He was cradled in his crib in the back of the car, in his little car seat, and I was passionate about the fact that I felt as though I had been run over by a truck. I had looked forward to this birth. I had read several books. It was quite a long time ago. It was 1966. But I just knew. I said to him, we know too much about ourselves. Someone must have, must have found a way that was not so intrusive and drugged. It took me a couple of days to fall in love with my baby. We literally, I felt like we had been through a train wreck together. Within two years, oh, within actually about three months, I discovered a group called the La Leche League because I wanted support for my breastfeeding. I went along to that meeting after having read The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding, and it made me feel a little more empowered. I went along to the meeting and I met three women who had given birth according to the Lamaze method of birth, and it had just arrived in the United States. And um, a doctor in New York, Erwin Shaben, had written a book uh, called Thank You, Dr. Lamaze, which I devoured. And then I looked at my husband and I said, I think I've found a better way. Indeed, I had. Two years later, with the same doctor, the same husband, I gave birth painlessly. I had an orgasm when my baby presented. I was in charge at that birth. And I had prepared for that birth like I was going to the Olympics. I don't think we can just decide, oh, I'm going to have a painless birth. Given my experience, given what I had been told by my parents and by, and by my mother and my grandmother, I did very, very deep preparation for that birth. Every day, working with my breathing, listening to the, the preparation, I drove 100 miles each way to be with the Lamas coach because there weren't many of them at the time. This was 1968. And I had a pain-free, ecstatic birth with my second son. And I am forever grateful for that empowering experience.